conforming. It's that idea of coming into line with a perceived norm because of the actions of others. This is different to compliance, which is essentially changing behaviour because of a request. But compliance doesn't necessarily require a change in internal state. We can comply with something that we don't actually internally want to do. However, conformity is where a norm creates uncertainty and provides an internal change where you come into line with behaviour that you may not fully understand. An example of it is this is Ash's conformity studies where participants were shown different lines of varying lengths and because people gave incorrect answers before the person gave their answer, they would often com come into line with the rest of the group or conform so that they didn't seem different. Now, whilst there's a host of reasons as to why people conform, the point of conformity is that it is a coming into line with what everybody else is doing. And there's been all sorts of hilarious things you can find on YouTube about people conforming to people sort of... Um, to, if everybody takes their hats off, then a person who is wearing a hat will most likely take their hat off, even though they're not entirely sure of the reason. That's an example of conformity, where people come into line with a norm that has been prescribed by other people's behaviour, whether or not they explicitly understand why that norm exists for themselves. Hopefully this clarifies conformity as separate to compliance. Conformity is coming into line with a norm, even if you're not entirely sure why, or for whatever reasons that happens, it is an internal change of state which comes into line with a prescribed norm from the behaviours of others. And hopefully this helps us understand conformity a little bit better.